Hi, Crafty Nanny Cola here with another little gnome that you can make for under $5 in 15 to 25 minutes. I was at Dollar Tree and I found pumpkins like this and a pumpkin like this and I looked at it and I said, oh, that looks like that would be kind of a cute gnome. So I put this on top of the pumpkin and I went, yeah, I think I'll try that. And he turned out pretty darn cute. So if you'd like to make him, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I went to Dollar Tree the other day looking for fall and Halloween. And I saw these little pumpkins. This one has a little gourd on it and a little bit of decoration and a sunflower on the top. And I bought two of those. And uh, then I got this pumpkin, they, these are glittery. And I got this one, and I've already taken the top off this one, it just came right off, it's um, here somewhere. So this was the top to that, and it just came in here, and it, I just pulled it out and it came right out. And it'll go right back in if you don't want to uh, use it for that in the end. <clears throat> then I bought a package, there was a package of eight of these little pumpkins. And I had these little pumpkins that came last year in a fall mix from Hobby Lobby. They were had uh, my fans on, sorry, it's like 112 degrees here in the desert. And um, so I got these, they were in a package with little, little pine cones and um, different little fall decorations. So what I wanted to do was try to make a gnome. So I've been messing around here and because these are foam, you can pin everything. So that's what's nice about it too. You can even pin this. So basically what you need is uh, your whatever pumpkin you're gonna use. I also got pumpkins like this last year at, uh, or at Walmart. This one's messed up, so I would have to cover the front of that one. I didn't realize it was messed up. And then I also got these taller ones last year at Walmart. So uh, those are the pumpkins, and then you will need this gourd, and this is going to be the head. And then, I, like I said, I got these. There was eight of these in there, and I'm going to try to use these and see how they look for, like, little shoes, like he's sitting. So these will be, like, his little pumpkin feet. And then uh, I'm going to use, go ahead and use a roller from Dollar Tree, and this is... Uh, So this is the 8 inch skinny roller. There's also some fat rollers that are shorter. So that's a skinny one. You'll need a beard and this beard is approximately 3 inches long and one, two, and 3 inches including all the hair. So when you cut the beard you just cut an oval in the back with the front with, with your scissors you just want to cut the fabric. I don't like using an X-Acto knife. It never works for me. And then you'll need something for a nose. I have the soft one here right now. I may use a wooden nose. I just um, use this one because I can put the pin through it. So I have both the long quilting pins, which are almost two inches. I think they're like one and three quarters. And then I have the tiny little ones and I use these. Sometimes I even stick these in there uh, to hold the glue and I just leave them in there because it's covered like for the arms and stuff. And then I cut two pieces of felt and I'm going to make these uh, yellow, the arms, and these are four inches by two inches. So I cut two pieces of that. Then I cut the roller in half, but I didn't need all of it because, because of the way we're going to put this pumpkin together, we, uh, I want to put the arms, when I glue the arms, I want to be able to flatten the top of the arms. I'm going to be able to flatten the top of the arms and then I want to be able to put it under this so it's hidden. So under like that is what I'm wondering. So I cut these shorter, much shorter than the arms. As you can see, they're much shorter. And the, I ended up cutting them three inches. And then the wire is also at three inches. And then you can just stick those back in there like that. And there always is, th this stuff does melt real easy with the uh, glue. So 
Okay, so that's where, that's the stuff that you will need for this little pumpkin. Okay, I got my little uh, finger protectors because I'm terrible with glue. And I don't like glue and I actually, hold on a second, I'm going to put my old mat that I use for glue and paint and stuff underneath here. Actually, I have a silicone, hold on. So I put down my silicone mat so it, to protect my uh, healing mat that I use for quilting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle. And I don't want to get it on, I just want to do the felt. I don't want to do the, uh, the noodle. And I definitely don't want to do it because I want to be able to move it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this glue down the side. And then I'm just going to try to keep my noodle completely out of that glue. I just hold it there for a minute. It didn't catch it all. And of course the glue got on it. So hopefully, it'll be okay though because we're just gonna put a pumpkin. So this is just so that we can bend the arm later when we put the, uh, when the wire is in it so you can bend it. So I'm just gonna run a little bit more glue here now that I know where I'm at. Lots of times I just sew these. Okay, then repeat that with the other one. Okay, I got both sides glued. Like I said, I'm not the best at gluing. I'm always terrible, actually, at gluing. I'll have to get back into gluing. I've been sewing lately and not gluing at all. So I did get a lot of glue on one side here of one of them. This one I kind of messed up. And you can pull some of that off. This is the one that I really messed up. But I can put that underneath, and that gives me plenty of plenty of room to put it underneath the other pumpkin. So this is where the pins come in handy so you know where you want everything. So I'm just going to kind of pin everything right now. If I need, I'm going to stab myself is what I'm going to do. My eyes are really off lately. <laughs> Hopefully I did this one down too. Yeah. So it's best if you have it, have the seam down as far as you can get it down. So I'm just going to mess with this a little bit. So mess with your pumpkin and see, uh, see where those arms are going to go best. kind of like that and then we're going to have the beard is going to be up here you're going to want the beard under the flower so I'm just going to pin that I'm going to actually see if this is where I want the arms I may want them back just a drop so I'm just putting them back a little bit and then I am going to stick this on here. And I'm going to take one of the longer pins. And I'm going to pin that and see if this is how I want it. That's what's so nice about this, the pumpkins. And it doesn't leave a hole either, so that's kind of cool too. So I got to make sure that this is, this needs to, is going to need to go down a little bit more because it's not, uh, it's catching on the foam that's inside there from the curler. So I'm gonna put it down a little bit more. So you can just put a pin in the back and that'll kind of at least hold it on a little bit and then lift your arms. This side is pretty good actually. Let me 
just stick one in the front for the moment and see if that holds that. Okay, so there we have it so far. Bring this up a little bit closer there. Okay, so we have that, and then we are going to put our beard on like this. So we're going to put the beard under the flower and decide where you want the gourd, if you want it in front, back, side, wherever you want that. And so I'm just going to pin this on. So I pinned the beard on, and then I'm just going to show you how I did the nose. And this is one of those felt noses. And I've used these on a couple other projects in there. See, once you get his nose on, <laughs> then he looks like a little gnome. So then we're going to take the little pumpkins. that'll work or not I'm just temporarily going to I think that might I, it's probably not a good idea to put the in these little pumpkins because it may um, leave a hole in the pumpkin so you've got the you've got the little uh, wire inside there so you can bend the arms the way you want and then uh, you know eventually we will glue these on at the end, we'll glue those on. And then these little pumpkins, I just kind of set them under there for the moment, but we could even uh, just stick these in here. Now you can take uh, this off if you want also, if you don't want that on there, and I don't think I do. So it looks like he's got little pumpkin shoes. So there's no cloth or anything that you have to use with th this one. I just thought other than the felt is the only thing for the arms or anything else you think you could use for the arms that you might want to use for the arms. So um, we can go ahead and glue it all together at this point and I'll get back with you. Okay, we start by gluing the arms and I am going to probably put those pins back in there. I'm actually going to set the pin kind of right here so I know where I'm putting the arm and then I'll put some glue on it. I actually should glue it together probably first. And again, I'm going to grab this because I always burn myself and I do not like to be burned. Okay, get a generous amount of glue on there. Let it cool for a second so it doesn't uh, melt the pumpkin. I'm just gonna hold that on there for a minute with the, hopefully this all works out. Okay, I am going to put the pin back in there, but I'm going to kind of try to put it to the Side or underneath there as much as I can so it's not so it's not interfering too much when I glue this on you don't know, because it, it does have a head on the pin so it could uh, interfere with it so I'm trying to put it on the inside there okay now the same one with this one uh, I don't have that quite make sure it's even I don't have it quite even I can see now so there's the middle and first glue this together and these silicone mats, I got these on uh, Amazon. I have it in some of my other videos as to, uh, to the link, but I can put it in there again. You try to keep all that glue inside where it's going to be covered up. So there's his little arms. Now 
we want to glue the top on. I think that will be easier than trying to uh, than trying to put the beard on first. I think it would be a lot easier to put the beard on afterwards. So hopefully this holds together with the with the glue. You can put some E6000 in there. I'm not going to right now. I really don't like that stuff. It gets all over me. So I'm going to lean, because the beard's going to cover this part anyway, so I'll probably lean it a little bit to the back. Another thing you can do is put the beard lower, and you can actually give the gnome, this gnome some eyes, because of you've got the two different pieces here. So There is a gap in the middle here, so the glue is probably not going to stick real well. pretty even so hold that on there for a couple of seconds I don't know why I just put them together and I just thought gnome I don't know <laughs> I just thought it'd be cute okay so next we'll go for the beard so that like I said that's going to go under so let's even that beard even the beard with your arms I'm going to have to get a new glue stick in here in a second and you want to get that up all the way up the flower, which I did not. I have to take it back off of there. There. You want it all the way up to the to the edge of the flower. And then you can come back in if you want and you can glue the rest of it down. You don't have to, but it probably will stay better. I'm going to pause this while I get a new glue. Okay, so we have all that done. Now next would be to go ahead and we can, I don't have, I don't know what I did with my brush right at the moment. I do have a few, you can, like I have a little gap here or something that I can glue down to. If you have something like that, just glue it down. that I missed right there. Okay, let's see how we want to do those feet. Like I said, this is optional. It already has a wire in it, so it's possible you could just stick the wire through. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Make sure you have a wire cutters around if you're going to do uh, gnomes. Mm, that one. And I cut that to about two inches. The problem is it's so crooked. Because I was thinking could just stick them right in there and then put a little bit of glue. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of putting them underneath first so I have an idea of where I want them. So wherever you think they look the best. And like I said, you can leave the stem in if you want. That could be like a little toe or something. That would be cute. Okay, I'm going to turn this around to me for a minute so I can make sure that I get it where I want it, where I want them. And then I'm going to... I'm actually, I, I think I'm going to do the nose next 
because then the feet, I want to be able to center the feet around the nose and I have a bad habit of not getting that. On these noses, some of the side is, is a little flatter, so look for the flattest side. And just push that right up underneath, kind of find your middle. Push that right in the middle. Okay, now let's center these. You can have them way out to the side if you want, or you can have it, you know, close together. So you can have them out to the sides, you can have them close together, however you like liked it. Like it. It's your gnome. So I think I am going to have one there. No, that's too far out. I think I like it here. Yeah. So I'm just going to stick a pin in this one. I'll show you hit that in a second. Let's see. Let me just yeah, I think I do want it in that one. Okay. So I decided to put it in these two, uh, in the two ridges that are right here. There's a ridge on either, so there's two in between here. You can also go that, but I think it would be easy, easiest to put it into the ridge, but you can put it into this part too if you want. So that that would be okay too. Let me see how that looks. If you want to if you want them if you want them a little bit farther out. That's kind of cute too. So either way it's kind of cute. So then at this point if this is where I'm going to put it, I kind of want to I kind of want to measure because this is you don't you want want these inside there but you want them flush. So that the pumpkin sits right. So we want them up a little bit. So I'm going to try here. And that's about right. So I'm just going to measure my other pin to this pin. So I'm going to put that pin in there a little bit down, just a little bit. Hope I get this in the same way. Let's see. I'm just kind of looking to see where the pin or the pumpkin hits the pin. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to take all these pins out. And now you'll have the holes in there. So I would, at this point, I would just take it back out and I don't think we really need it as long as it is I think I'm going to cut just a little bit off here yet because I don't know where that went oh there it is can hardly see the holes <laughs> still so I didn't it's not a problem if you don't like where they're at so make sure you like where they're at before you do any gluing and hopefully they'll stay in this side So I'm just cutting these a little bit shorter. Okay, I'm going to try to find those holes. Definitely these are, are forgiving with the holes. It's like I did this one here. I don't even think they need to be that long in there. I think I actually want this one over a little bit. I'm just trying to be careful because I don't, yeah, that's better. Because I don't want the pumpkin 
the back to come off of the um, wire. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and go around there so that the pumpkin sticks. I don't really see the use in putting it on the inside, hopefully that, and then just hold it there for a sec. Same thing with the other one. I'm still going to cut a little because I got such a curve there. And I think that's what's giving me the trouble. don't seem to be melting as much as the pumpkin or the most of the foam does. Okay and now we want to take these little pumpkins and it doesn't really look like there's much of a difference in the sides. get a little bit of glue on there and the other side Hopefully that'll hold on. We don't have much to hold on to it. Put put some inside the felt too. That might work better. That one seems to be pretty. A little bit at the bottom here. And then you can just adjust the arms to wherever you want them. And you have an adorable little pumpkin and that, uh, a gnome, and the cost would be about $250, $350, under $5. So that whole, whole little thing was made for under $5 and it's adorable and, I, and it's made in under 15 minutes. So I hope you ha all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.